What's going on guys? Coach Matt and YougoProBaseball.com. I'm here with Brandon Janeka of True Grind Systems at the 180 Performance Center in Austin, Texas. Actually, just a little north of Austin in Leander, Texas. So if you're ever in the area, come check them out. But in this video, we're going to talk about how to build the perfect baseball body because I think there's a lot of misconceptions on what you're trying to do. At least for me, when I was growing up, we didn't have YouTube and all this stuff. Right. And my dad taught me how to lift, and but he was doing a lot of bodybuilding stuff. Talk about what you're trying to do, especially when guys just start lifting, and then how you're trying to develop them into the perfect baseball body along the way. What do you got? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, it's a question that I get a lot. Um, and uh, the athletes come in and they, they want a specific body image, right? That's, uh, that's very common, especially when we get the... Uh, the hormones kicking in a little bit and they start to get into uh, you know, dating and stuff like that. They, they definitely have a body image that they want to achieve. Um, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Um, I, I think that's an awesome thing. I want to use that determination. I want to use that motivation and I want to, I want to, I want to get after it. You know, I want them you know, to eat right, uh, train hard, uh, get plenty of sleep, recover well, uh, hydrate, eat, all this good stuff to help, you know, if they want to do it to get a better body, I, I, I dig it. I, I love it. Um, now, it all comes down to a balance. We can't go into a bodybuilding um, training regimen. Uh, the problem with bodybuilding training is you're training muscles. Uh, you want to grow a bicep, so you do bicep curls. Um, in baseball or sports, perform sports performance training, we're training uh, on the movement side, movement is king. It's it's the top priority. It's it's what mechanics are in the most simplest form. Mechanics are movement. So we're training more movement patterns. Bodybuilders are training more muscles, uh, but we can definitely harness that desire of young athletes in their in their image of of their body, right? And and uh, we we can teach them great healthy habits if we can have that mindset with a good baseball specific training regimen, uh, we can really, really get after it and really make some good gains. Uh, when it comes to building the perfect body, uh, I, I mentioned it earlier, it, it's all about balance. Um, the perfect baseball body is, is balanced in, in his weight, his height to weight ratio. Uh, he's balanced in stiffness versus laxity. laxity? That's right. Uh, he's, uh, he's balanced in strength versus speed. He's balanced in uh, you know, stability. He's balanced in power. He's balanced in his nutrition. He's balanced in his sleep and his recovery. He's, he's just overall balanced athlete. That's, that's what we're trying to get to. When we think about the word power, power is strength with a speed component to it. It's how fast we can demonstrate our strength, right? And so that's why the assessment's so important is we identify what that athlete is deficient in and we try to create a balanced athlete who is, who is very strong but incredibly fast. One of the reasons powerlifters don't throw 116 miles an hour, even though they're incredibly strong, arguably the strongest guys on the planet, um, is they don't have the speed. Powerlifting should be called strength lifting. It, there, there's absolutely very little power to it. It's a very slow movement, a very high weight, um, and, uh, and that's why they can't throw. On the other hand, you know, um, uh, if you take a very fast guy with no strength to him, he's not going to be able to generate the stability to consistently um, throw at a high rate of speed. So you need that great balance of strength versus speed. Um, to, uh, to deliver a baseball at a very high rate of speed. That's that when you're talking about that it makes a lot of sense. And it's almost like guys are on a continuum. Like, you know, if you've got a super fast guy, you know, typically probably going to be have a, more mobility, I would assume. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a guy who's really strong and a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. You would train those two guys totally different, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And we take that in consideration here at True Guns Systems. You're either on a, you know, a force deficient program, a velocity deficient program, or a balanced program where we, we, uh, we attack what you're weak in and, and we try to make every athlete as balanced as possible. That's, that's so cool. Now, thinking back from my personal experience, what, and at least training guys, I, it seems like right around ninth grade for some reason, and I don't have any 
data to back this up, but just from training guys over the years, when they get into that freshman year of high school, some guys either get it and they're just like, they want to do it and they get in. And you were saying, just use that determination. Yeah. You know, like help, that. you know, bring them in and help coach them along the way so they don't get too far off track with their determination, you know, and then end up like a stiff bodybuilder up there trying to hit or pitch and they're losing the mobility because that happened to me in high school. I was, my dad bought me a weight bench. I was in seventh grade, I think, and he taught me how to lift. And, you know, he didn't know much besides what he read in magazines and, and books and stuff like that. So it was mostly bodybuilding stuff. And by the time I got into, you know, ninth, 10th grade, my body was so far developed compared to my peers. I'll leave a picture in right now of me sitting with the rest of my freshman team. It, it looks silly because I'm, I'm huge compared to the other guys because I had already been lifting for two years. But around 10th grade, my velocity declined. I lost like 10 miles an hour because I was killing it. Yeah. You know, I was like, oh, I'm getting huge, you know? Right. And I just lost the mobility. And because of that, I lost the uh, uh, velocity. Mm -hmm. So that's when I learned like, oh, it's good because I developed the body, but I also needed to focus on more balance and start working on that stuff. Right, we definitely want to keep the long-term goal in mind. Uh, you know, having a six pack is awesome. Throwing 97 for the New York Mets is even cooler. That is so, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we need to keep the long-term goal in mind. Uh, it's great to have short-term goals, and, and they're awesome, but never get off the path of that long-term goal. Well, thank you so much. That's great information. I wish I would have known that <laughs> when I was coming up. I uh, hope you guys liked this video. Hop down in the comments below. Let us know uh, what you're doing, what you're training right now, and what your long-term goals are for baseball. And we'd love to chat with you down there. Again, if you guys are in the Austin, Texas area, Come on up to Leander and check them out here at True Grind Systems. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.